Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, my name is Gile and welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And please, if you are watching this video and you have not subscribed to my channel, hello, please subscribe. It is absolutely free. And if you happen to enjoy it, please do give it a huge thumbs up and share it with whomever you'd like to share it with. And click that notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I upload a new video, okay? As you might have seen by the title of this video, I'm gonna be tackling a very sensitive topic, which is overcoming your insecurities. I am gonna be sharing based on my experience all right i just want to make that disclaimer that i am no professional whatsoever i'm just going to be sharing based on my experience and of course also my research all right so with no further ado let us get straight into the video life is a journey made with no regrets love with no limits but most importantly create the best memories so that when you look back you have no regrets your insecurities and actually building up your self-esteem it will not happen overnight but that does not mean it is impossible all right for me how I overcome my insecurities firstly I got to appreciate the way I look because when I was in high school people would tell me that you look too tall or someone would just say huh, you're going to gain a lot of weight when you grow up why would they say that because of how my neck looked like because how <laughs> baby necky my neck look like i don't know how to describe it but people would say i have a baby neck all right so someone would just say you will gain a lot of weight and those things are uh, trust me when you get home you think about them that is there's a seed that is just planted of insecurity right there even if you did not feel insecure about it before but because someone said it someone mentioned it to you you feel insecure so that's one of the things that i feel secure i felt like maybe i should stretch stretch a little bit so that i can have a straight neck i felt like i'm not normal you know that is insecure but how that is how i felt insecure but what i wanted to say is that the first thing that i did is it was to appreciate the way i look it was to love myself and accept that this is the way exactly the way that god wanted me to be this is the image that God had in mind when he was created me, all right? So I came to realize that I had to love myself just the way I am, accept myself the way I am. Think about feeling insecure. It can happen in relationships, in friendships, everywhere. Like even from yourself, from your, if you do not accept yourself the way you are, you will feel insecure. So the first thing that I did, like I already mentioned, is that I, I began to love myself more. So if you are wondering why I'm going to be looking down, it's because I made <laughs> I made some notes on my book. So uh, if you just excuse me, I'll be looking down so that I make sure I touch everything that I wanted to say in this video. Okay, so the first thing that I said is that um, I got to love myself more. I appreciated the way I look. It doesn't really matter. I, I, I accepted the way I look. If you feel I'm too tall, that doesn't bother me anymore. If you feel my nose is big, that is, it doesn't matter. If my neck is too babyish for you, trust me, that is, I accepted the way I look. I love myself the way, exactly the way I look, the way I appreciate myself the way I look, okay? So I accepted this image of God, all right? so the second point that i wanted to say is believe in yourself trust me if you do not believe in yourself nobody else will believe in yourself believe in what you want to achieve believe in your goals it doesn't matter how small they are if you want to sell acha believe that is gonna work out for you if you want to create a shop where you sell watches where you sell pots where you wash people's shirts, where you wash people's cards, whatever the case may be, believe in yourself. Because if you don't, nobody else will. And that, 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 that I realized that if actually, if I believe in myself, if I believe in my goals, nothing else will stop me. And I won't feel insecure about any idea that I have or anything pertaining my life. 
I will not feel insecure about it. All right. So the third one was prioritize your needs. All right. If you do not prioritize your needs enough, that will affect your values. It will affect you because you put your whole energy prioritizing other people's needs and forgetting about yourself. You know, and it goes a long way to say if I prioritize my own needs, then then it means I value myself enough to say no. This I'm gonna pause on other looking. Um, it doesn't mean you are selfish to help other people out, but prioritize what you need to do for yourself so that you can also get to help other people. I hope I'm making sense. All right. So the other point that I wanted to touch on is be confident you know I used to I used to go uh, I used to have friendships that um, people would think that we have everything figured out how do I say this yeah they because we are that confident no one will tell us otherwise we're a group of friends that played netball we would on uh, during what we call service now I don't know what other people call it when you are we are wearing um, no, we are not wearing school clothes at school we are wearing our old casual people would notice us I'm telling you and it really it didn't really matter what we were wearing but because we were confident enough no one would come close to us and tell us otherwise because then I learned it from that that I need to be confident it doesn't matter what people say it doesn't matter how my voice sounds if I'm gonna stand in front of the camera and say something I need to at least be confident because if personally I am shy but at least I am confident when I'm in front of the people and I'm presenting something it goes a long way with your self-esteem and with feeling secure all right and then the next point that I want to touch on is challenge your thoughts okay challenge your thoughts man think I'm beautiful I can do this you know I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me all right plant it in your thoughts be positive whatever you do whatever I touch shall prosper okay be oh my god be positive about everything try and you know and another thing is that people will always be negative try and be positive even if you go through challenges in life try always try and challenge your thoughts to say I know I can make it I know I am beautiful I know I am enough you know challenge your thoughts just don't don't always try and be depressed. Try and try and think something that will make you feel happy and secure. All right. So the next point that I want to touch on is spend time with people that loves you. If you spend time with people that don't love you, trust me, you will feel insecure all the time they will make sure that you do not feel like you are enough they will make sure that you don't feel like you can achieve your goals you know people always say my spirit is telling me that this person doesn't like me if your spirit is telling you that then 99.9 .9 percent chance is that it is right it is exactly that so know where you belong know the space that where you are appreciated know the people that love you so that you can also be confident to share whatever you're going on whatever that is bothering you and you will not be judged because if you are judged on how you look or how you do things instead of being corrected that can create some sort of insecurity in your life and that is something that you do not want okay so let me go to the last point that I wanted to to say is that cut off 
cut off people that make you feel bad about your life. Cut off people that don't see good in you. Cut off everything that is negative in you. Because trust me, that is one of the things that will feed your insecurity. If you are around people that don't see good in you or they are always trying to make you feel small or they don't care of how you feel they are always dissing you they do not change they don't want to see you do good cut them off and that's on period because they will bring you down and like i said they will feed up your insecurities okay we've come to the end of our video i hope you enjoyed this and please do comment down below i want to hear your stories i want to hear how you felt insecure or what made you feel insecure and how you actually overcome it and if you uh, you enjoyed this video please do give it a huge huge thumbs up and thank you so much for watching i will see you on my next upload